every bit as passionately imaginative as science fiction. But you guys are working on it. It's incredible. The imagination of scientists who are actually working. Imagine sending a vehicle to Pluto. Um, my question is, through your career and your writing and your acting, you've inspired so many people to enter the sciences. How do you balance science with science fiction? They're both the same. Uh, a a, a uh, astrophysicist looking out there is thinking in terms of science fiction. Anyway, the, the mystery of science fiction is what I'm talking about. Science and science fiction are essential. Thank you very much. Last question. What I think is the key to what I'm doing is to see me discover what it is I'm trying to tell you. What do you do? And he says, it's all in my head. I think. I said, well, how do you prove what you're thinking exists? Because it's all theory. He said, well, I've got this very elegant uh, uh, and numbers, equation, equation, yeah. Very E, B, the bottom of the seven to four. It's all in his head. How do, how do you prove a black hole? How do you know those gravitational waves proved the collision of two black holes? Somehow, eventually, they are able to observe phenomena. No, they that can't observe. <laughs> it's too far away, it's too theoretical. How do we know what they're saying is true? It, you know what it really is? It's all science fiction. <laughs> so does that, does that make you a skeptic? No, well, science fiction says, this is a story that I'm making up, and that's a science fiction concept. Although the scientists says, say there are wormholes. How do you know? Galaxy. So, so I mean, it's science fiction, all right. Okay. So, so, uh, but we know about wormholes. We know the mathematics of them. That's the science fiction part of it. Another place in the galaxy. Okay. And so you can use it in principle to travel. And uh, in, in well, well, well. Se ad esempio un astronomo presentasse una teoria sull'universo bene accetta dall'uomo della strada, probabilmente sarebbe un errore. Scienza e filosofia non sono poi così distanti, signori. Grazie, per oggi è tutto.